And so what we need to keep in mind is that the strongest motivator for attention is curiosity. We have to get our listeners curious. So how do you do that? Well, that's with a strong beginning. Lawyers get up, and I have seen this kind of approach to opening statement. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the point in trial when we lawyers are permitted to give opening statement. Uh, kind of like a road map that we have so we know where we're going. Or it's like a movie preview tells you what the movie's going to be about. And it gives you a preview, a summary of what the evidence is going to be. Now what I say is not evidence. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, what I say is not evidence. Anything I say is not evidence. Boy, have you destroyed any curiosity, interest, or credibility when you start talking about what I say is not evidence. And you say you're going to road map it for them or you're going to preview it for them. That is not the way you give a strong opening statement. I never say what I say is not evidence, because it is. I mean, I'm saying what the facts are going to be. And if I get an objection, I don't hardly ever get one, but if I get one, I just say, well, that's what the evidence is going to be, and keep telling my story. I'm going to tell a story. My opening statement is going to be a story. And my opening statement, my first words are going to be a hook, what I call a hook, because I want their curiosity. And I don't have but two or three minutes to get it, so I'm going to begin with a hook. So I'm going to give you some examples of hooks I have used in cases. This is the first thing I say when I stand up. And I normally start, I normally stand right behind my client. That's where I want to begin, standing right behind my client. And I will say it was supposed to be such a routine medical procedure. Or a man lost an eye because a gauge manufacturer wanted to save a dollar on its high pressure gauge. Or it might be, Mr. Alexander, my name is Dr. Crowder and I will be giving your anesthesia today. Or it might be, Lois, you have cancer. We need to operate right away. Every one of those are, are opening lines I used in cases I've tried over the past few years. The one that says, I'm, my name is Dr. Crowder, I'm going to be giving your anesthesia today, it was a great opening because what had happened is this fellow went in for routine <coughs> drive-through, day in, out same day soldier surgery, and because of anesthesia error, he arrested and ended up brain dead. And the truth of the matter is that after they pushed him behind the closed doors, Dr. Crowder was not giving him his anesthesia. She had left and turned it over to a CRNA. So the opening line, Dr. Crowder, uh, uh, Mr. Alexander, my name is Dr. Crowder and I'll be giving your anesthesia today, tied it in pretty tight. The second example, Lois, you have cancer, we need to operate right away, is a case where a woman's breast was removed and she didn't have cancer. So pick out the strong line and start with that. Do it, do it in a way that you get curiosity. 